What is going on guys? Zuggy Fishing here, back to you with another video. Hope you guys are well and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you are, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and turning on that post notifications bell. Let's go follow me on Instagram at Zuggy Fishing and on TikTok at Zuggy Fishing. We're nearing 13,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. And I appreciate the support so much. Hey guys, I'm gonna be covering the top five best baits for Northern Pike, in my opinion. These are baits that I've caught Northern Pike on in the past, showing tons and tons of clips of me catching some Northern Pike on these baits. To start off, if you guys don't already know, a Northern Pike is a long, green, slimy, aggressive, and strong fish. Pop a picture of me catching one right now. That is actually my PB Northern Pike. I didn't get a weight or a length measurement on it. I was too much in the moment and I didn't even have the supplies. That is my PB Northern Pike caught in a river in New Jersey. My PB Northern Pike was caught on a spoon, which we'll get into more in the video. Other clips that I shown you in this video, I'm gonna be catching some Northern Pike on different baits as well that we're gonna review. Guys, I got some new stickers on my main tackle box. This is a Guggen Squad tackle box. I got a little Carl's Bait and Tackle sticker, Mystery Tackle Box, Catch Co, Guggen Squad, you know, all the good stuff. Cause this video is actually sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. Carl's Bait and Tackle is a phenomenal tackle shop. It's basically the center where you can get any bait you want for cheap prices. If you guys click the link in my description and go sign up to be a Carl's Club member, you can get up to 30% off and pretty much anything on the store. Seeing tons and tons of baits that I got from Carl's today in this pike video, I pretty much use all of my tackle from Carl's Bait and Tackle because it's so cheap, gets here fast, and catches me some fish. If you guys go click the link in my description, go check out shopcarls.com and go sign up for a Carl's Club membership. Y'all, let's get right into this video, Northern Pike Baits. All right, y'all, so the first bait. The number one favorite bait for catching Northern Pike is the spinner bait. This is a chartreuse willow blade spinner bait from Carl's Bait and Tackle. I'm actually gonna pop up a clip of me using the spinner bait and catching Northern Pike on it right now. Oh God, oh my God, get it right at the surface. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? Look at that pike right there. Boom, get up here, baby. Boom, you guys see that? He hit that thing right at the surface. Uh, guys, I told you again, following it in all the way. That's what these pike are doing right now. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. I was not expecting that at all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. He hit that thing right at the shore. That was so awesome. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Guys, again, I was telling you, these pike, they follow it up from the middle and they sometimes slam it right at the shore. Let's go, baby. So the water that I was fishing was super murky and muddy. So I threw this chartreuse crawler and it really produced. Tend to notice in this type of water, y'all should definitely be throwing the chartreuse. While you're fishing more clear water for pike, you guys wanna utilize lighter colors. Chartreuse in that murky water really gives off a flash. It creates that strike from the pike. So the spinnerbait, I highly recommend it. Tip to take away from the spinnerbait. You guys wanna be fishing chartreuse color in this murky water, lighter colors in lighter, more natural colored water. Also have that big presentation spinnerbait. You do not wanna have a small profiled spinnerbait. You guys wanna have a spinnerbait of this caliber with big willow blades that create reaction in the water, vibrations and movement and overall attract those pike. Spinnerbaits on banks and deeper water utilizing both of these and bringing it past structure. As soon as the pike sees the spinnerbait going right past the bank, deeper water, or right by a tree limb, they'll strike it thinking it's a bait fish. They'll strike it thinking it's a bait fish or a group of bait fish. Spinner bait, phenomenal lure. Number two pike bait that I have is the Z-Man chatter bait. People do not fish chatter baits for pike, even though I think it's an electric bait. Here I have a brand new half ounce chatter bait with a white and gray color. You guys have seen me fish chatter baits in tons and tons of my videos for some big bass it works exactly the same way for pike I recommend some of these same tips 
for the spinner bait as the chatter bait. You guys don't know, there is a blade right here on the top that basically creates tons and tons of vibrations in the water. It's very similar, but at the same time different from a spinner bait. And utilize this thing in deeper water through the banks and across structure to trigger those pike. Keep in mind the same color variations as a spinner bait apply. Lighter colors in clearer water and darker colors in darker water. Ever, with the exception of the chartreuse in murky water, it creates that strike, trust me. Same thing with the spinner bait. I slow retrieve the chatter bait. However, give it pauses and hard twitches to get that reaction strike. Something you always wanna have on the back of your spinner bait and your chatter bait is a trailer. I recommend anything from a craw to a soft plastic swimmer, such as a Guggen Squad saucy swimmer or a Kitek. Right here, ladies and gents, I have the Carl's Bait and Tackle Catch Co. Yodo Worm right here. You guys have seen me fish this bait for bass in my previous videos. Now, I would totally throw this thing, cut it down a little bit, of course, on the back of a chatterbait or a spinnerbait. Pair this Yoda worm up on the back of the spinnerbait. It's absolutely magic. The reason it's magic is because of this tickle tail right here. It has the perfect swimming action, just like your standard Kai Tech or Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer. Chatterbait and spinnerbait and pretty much any other pike lure, you guys have to be fishing it on heavy braid. I've noticed when I fish mono or fluoro for pike, they bite through the line extremely easily. If you are using braid or mono or fluoro, I would definitely recommend a 25 pound leader. Pike have super, super sharp teeth, as you'll see in the clips. Easily break through your line. Important to have a strong leader in order to reinforce so you don't have to retie every time and overall lose baits. So there we have it, ladies and gents, the Z-Man Chatterbait, absolutely phenomenal. Before we get into the third bait, I'm gonna show you a, another clip of me catching some fish. Have you caught a bass here? Yeah. Big Jesus. There we go. Boom. Is that a pike or a pickerel? Um, oh my gosh. That's a pike. That's a pike? That's a pike. Let's go, baby. Nice First pike. Suggy fishing, with Suggy fishing with a pike, baby. On the Guggen Squad Zinger. Boom. Guys. Look at this pike. Yeah, he is. Boom. A little pike action on my channel. Boom. Let's take it, baby. A little pike on the Guggen Squad Zinger. Let's uh, hold this guy up. Better view for the camera. Boom. Little pike. We'll take that thing any day. Boom. Let's go get some more pike. Let's release this guy. Boom enjoyed that northern pike it was pretty pretty awesome i love catching pike especially in rivers you just cruise along the river bank just making casts you guys want to be fishing fast with pike they're not a slow fish they're aggressive they're looking for bait fish at all times so it's best when you're fishing the spinnerbait or the chatterbait to have that medium to fast retrieve bait number three is some form of a swim bait the swim bait i actually just got in my last month's mystery tackle box this is a weston swim bait right here it comes on a half ounce jig head with this soft plastic swim bait body now as i said before guys pike love bait fish whenever bait fish is in the body of water you're fishing the pike will go after it trust me this is a perfect imitation when you are fishing this bait this tail right here creates tons of action in the water. You basically just want to slow retrieve this bait and this tail will do all the work for you, looking like a bait fish. It doesn't always have to be your standard jig head with the soft plastic swim bait. You guys can fish a 3 ot text rig hook with the Kai Tech Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer and simply slow retrieve, giving it twitches like a little injured bait fish, exactly as this does right here. So some swim bait brands that I recommend are this Weston swim bait right here, from Mystery Tackle Box. You guys can go find it on Carl's Bait and Tackle. I recommend the Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer. I recommend the Kitex and any other soft plastic swim bait, especially a bigger profile. Found a bigger profile triggers more strikes because of this tail. See how this tail bends like this? That means there's a lot of weight added to this bait, not only because of the jig head, but because of this long tail. And with this increased weight in the tail and the length of it, this allows for a phenomenal shimmer action and swim of this bait. Again, pretty much at all times when utilizing pike, 
you want to utilize banks, deeper water, and structure. Pretty much like a bass. Pike are super, super fun to catch on swim baits. I absolutely love it, especially if you have some weight to it, like a half ounce jig head with this big swimmer body. Another great swim bait that I actually forgot about is the Rapala 360 Search Bait. Rapala 360 Search Bait is phenomenal for catching pike. So the Rapala 360 Search Bait is completely similar to this presentation and catches some pike. Really, really key because that big soft plastic body allows that tail to swim and create maximum action, which imitates the bait fish in the water. Definitely recommend a soft plastic swim bait, either with a weighted jig head and that long body or something different just on a normal Texas rig, like the Guggen Squad, Saucy Swimmer, or a Kai Tech. Again, on banks, deeper water, and by structure. Pike are pretty much super versatile. They're on banks, but they're also in deeper water, also hanging your structure. So you guys want to utilize all that. In the transition time through the fall to the winter is the main time when the pike bite in my area, especially in that river that you've seen me fish. Great fall bait, not only for pike, but for bass too, is the jerk bait. Jerk baits are actually super fun to fish as well. Basically the way you fish a jerk bait is cast it out there and pop your rod tip and just pop it and give it different variations of pops. And this jerk bait will twitch and dart all over looking like an injured bait fish. Pike go absolutely crazy for jerk baits. My boy AD fishing was fishing a jerk bait in his first cast in that same river a little while ago. He was fishing the Guggen Squad Scout jerk bait and he got one first cast and that pike hit it right at the bank. This is actually the mega bass jerk bait. Super, super awesome and I highly recommend it. Jerk baits not only have that flash action when you pop them with all of the different colors flashing in the water, creating that reaction strike, but it also has these different rattles in here that create that strike as well, which is why the jerk bait is so versatile and creates that reaction strike among these pike. So the jerk bait for the pike is awesome. The last Northern pike bait that I wanna cover is the spoon. The spoon is actually what I caught my PB Northern Pike on that you saw earlier in this video. My favorite spoon is the Phoebe. I have two different size Phoebes right here, which are ideal for Pike. This is the smaller profile right here, and this is the bigger profile. My PB on the bigger profile, this bait right here. Basically when I was fishing this thing, I dragged it right across a tree stump and a Pike absolutely hammered it and actually the next cast i caught a monster pickerel as well i'll pop up that picture if i could find it awesome because they give tons and tons of flash in the water having a fast retrieve with these spoons is key don't want to be too super fast don't want to be too slow because it needs to have that flash you want to have that medium to fast speed creating that strike for that pike. This is a perfect size for an injured bait fish that pike are looking to feed on. Phoebe is from Acme Lure Company, which is an awesome company as well. I recommend the Phoebe, the Sidewinder, and the Castmaster are all awesome spoons. Basically, the top five favorite pike baits, in my opinion, is one, the spinner bait, two, the chatter bait, three, the swim bait, four, the jerk bait, and five, the spoon. There are tons and tons of other great Northern Pike baits out there. Trust me, there is. I just covered the surface with this video. If you guys learned something new, make sure you guys hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Hope you guys took something out of this video to help you guys go catch some more Northern Pike this fall and winter seasons. If you guys are from the South, take a trip up North to go catch a Northern Pike. They're actually really, really fun. I'd recommend staying down South for the winter. Huge shout out to Carl's Bait and Tackle for sponsoring this video go click the link in my description and go sign up to be a Carl's Club member. I am no pro Northern Pike fisherman, but I hope I gave you guys some knowledge and I'm gonna be learning with you guys the species of the Northern Pike as we go throughout this year. Some awesome future videos from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below and follow me on Instagram at Zuggy Fishing. You guys are enjoying the videos, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I love you all so much and we're almost at 13,000 subscribers. We're going to be doing a huge giveaway when that comes. If you guys want to see daily fishing content, go follow the Instagram and TikTok at Zuggy Fishing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little Northern Pike video. All right, guys, be positive, just fish.